in today's video we are going to discuss about bootstrap so if you are a beginner at this then uh, this video tutorial will be helpful to you we'll get to know what is bootstrap and then how we can use bootstrap what is the advantages of using bootstrap and the browser supported in bootstrap and then we will create a form uh, that will use uh, by using bootstrap and also i'll tell about uh, how we can use bootstrap uh, premium themes and what are the basically the premium themes that are available that you can use it so uh, let's check out everything and i also i have created a complete blog post for the same so i'll put the link in the video description and you can have a look at that if you are an expert in uh, bootstrap then you can ignore this video might not be helpful for you but if you want to start it then uh, you can check out this video uh, completely till the end and also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel uh, subscribe it and you will get lot of video tutorials on sharepoint office 365 uh, spfx all these things and especially uh, this video i am creating for some of the sharepoint developers uh, they requested for this how we can use bootstrap in sharepoint applications as well we'll see some more videos uh, in the in the upcoming days but this will be a basic tutorial how we can start with and also we'll design a very complete form so if you look at this this is the form that uh, i will show you the code how we can design this and here we have used single line multi-line text uh, then there's password field then there is checkbox radio button um, the date picker then there is drop down multi select box everything uh, we have added and also all these things whatever you are seeing here i have the code uh, it is then the blog post where you can download the html file as well and another thing that i'll show you is how we can use javascript to get all these values whenever user will enter of course in this video we have explained how we can get in the alert box but you can use it however you want so now um, uh, basically we'll see what is bootstrap so bootstrap is a popular and it is very much used in nowadays um, in html css and js framework so this is one of the very popular and largely used html css and javascript framework that we can use to develop responsive websites or the mobile fast website nowadays every site you open it should open properly in, in various devices like uh, your desktop your laptop your tablet or your various mobile devices so it should be responsive and bootstrap is one of the very popular uh, framework that is using um, so let me uh, open the article and i'll explain it from there because there are a lot of things i don't um, I'll explain from the article so that it will be easier for you to follow when you will read the article as well. Um, so let me just open it. You can see it here. So this is the complete article that I was talking about. So most of the uh, websites nowadays people are thinking um, that it should open correctly in the mobile devices because that's what people are using it. Um, and uh, so bootstrap will help you on that so now there are a couple of reasons why you use bootstrap nowadays uh, there are uh, so these are the advantages that you can see first of all it is easy and if you have little knowledge on html and css then you can easily use bootstrap because after that there will be certain classes and then you will be uh, this html and css syntax will be matter a little and if you have knowledge then you can use bootstrap it's not not difficult at all then next is it is fully responsive so when you create a page then you if you'll open it desktop you'll open a tablet or if you open it mobile devices it will appear correctly so you will not have to write anything extra for this and another uh, advantages that i was talking is the browser supports so it supports various browsers all the modern browsers it will support uh, google chrome firefox internet explorer your microsoft edge safari opera so all these browsers are supported we'll we'll see in details also just below apart from that uh, there are certain grids are there by default the pages you can divide in grids and you can e you can easily create two column layout three column layout um, or even three unequal column layout easily you can do that kind of customization also um, it's it's uh, provides responsive image option so your image or the resize of the images uh, will be uh, based on the device so whenever let's say you have created one image or you have added one image in the file um, then or in the website then when you will open it in different devices it will be responsive so it will not be like your image image will not go here and there it will be responsive correctly it will appear in the mobile devices as well 
and also uh, it provides various components so you can see here various components it provides like alerts breadcrumb buttons uh, your drop down nav bar so pagination all these things that you can easily use or easily you can uh, use the, these components for your uh, requirement apart from that this is open source so you'll get a lot of supports from the community so there are community members in, in fact in the uh, stack overflow forum i have put the links also uh, you can just search for bootstrap and you will you will you, if you have any question or anything you can put it and people are ready to reply over there so the community support is very good on this since it is open source and widely used apart from that there are also uh, premium uh, themes are available or the templates are available which you can use it i'll show you by opening that uh, link and we will see uh, on the official bootstrap uh, templates premium templates but apart from that also there are third party uh, um, third party companies they provide also templates that you can use and again uh, now let's see uh, in detail what are the browser supports so basically when we talk about uh, this uh, browser supports it's uh, it's about the mobile devices and the laptops or the desktop so in in in, in case of mobile devices uh, we will discuss about android and ios so basically there are little difference on the browser supports uh, android chrome firefox uh, android browser and then microsoft edge these are supported if it is ios then chrome firefox safari and microsoft edge it is supported obviously the android um, browser and web view is not supported in ios platforms and if you are using still windows 10 mobile then microsoft edge is supported now this is about the mobile devices browser supports if you talk about the desktop then in mac you have chrome firefox microsoft edge opera and safari these are the browser supported in mac OS and if you have Windows OS then Internet Explorer it should be 10 plus like 10 and 11 and then Chrome Firefox Microsoft Edge and Opera Safari is not supported so this is how the browser supports for bootstrap now how we can download and use it this bootstrap next step um, it is simple there are links are available I have put the links also uh, the understand that there is a compiled version of uh, CSS and JS and uh, you, you, once you download then you will be able to get the CSS and JS file. So I have downloaded so if I will open it so you can see here it will be like CSS and there will be CSS uh, like this you can see for grid for reboot for this kind of uh, this is the uh, no, bootstrap min.css so these are the CSS files and if you will see the JS files these are the JS files that will be available when you will uh, download this compiled CSS and JS version apart from that let's say you want to uh, this is open source so you can download the source files and you can modify it so uh, this is the link where you can download the source file as well apart from this options you have other options that to use it for example let's say you want to uh, you can simply create an html file and then you can develop uh, a form or any any kind of things in in bootstrap and in, the, in those cases you you require two things one thing is the uh, bootstrap main.css and this path you can give from js deliver cdn path this is a public uh, deliver uh, public cdn path in fact and you can use it Apart from that, also you have uh, your uh, bootstrap bundle.min.js. This is the JS file and one CSS file. That's two things you require to work with uh, uh, your bootstrap. And if you want to use purport.js, then make sure that you have to call it before your uh, JS file. So bootstrap min.js, before that you have to call this file. You can see here purport.min.js. I'm calling it before this order really matters and you should follow this order. Uh, you cannot put this one, uh, you cannot put after this uh, min.js or bootstrap.min.js. It should be always before that. Just have a note on this. Apart from that, if you are using npm, then this is the command that you can use, npm install bootstrap. If you are using yarn, then this is the command, yarn add bootstrap. Apart from that, you can see here, if you are using Ruby gems, you can uh, install like this. And if you are using composer, then you can do like this. And if you are a .NET developer, then we use Bootstrap in most of the application in, in the websites. And uh, for the .NET, we have NuGet package, so you can get it. So you can simply use this command, uh, uh, install hyphen package Bootstrap and install hyphen package bootstrap.sass. So this is, uh, this is the commands that you can use. And if you are using NuGet in Visual Studio, then you can download Bootstrap like this. 
now next thing is how we can basically use bootstrap so let's say you will create a simple html file you can use visual studio code uh, you can simply open a folder you can just uh, create a file with dot html extension even you can use your notepad where you can have a dot html file and uh, two things you require here one is bootstrap.main.js uh, and then bootstrap the main dot css and this is how we can provide the path so you, you can see here i have given the cdn path from the bootstrap itself you can see and these two files i required to work with bootstrap and uh, so uh, in html file you can just refer the these two files and the next thing is if you are uh, um, if you want to create a form so the editor i prefer to use is visual studio code uh, i have separate videos i have explained how you can create html js file all these things i'll put the link in the video description but you can simply create an html file and in this case uh, i have used text box multi-line text box radio button all these controls you can see here we have used on this and here is the html file you can see this is the file that we have uh, referred this is the main.css bootstrap.main.css and bootstrap.main.js these two files uh, and let me go back to the html part of it you can see here uh, this is a class container we took and uh, here it is so this is the label where uh, it is displaying select product and uh, then you can see here uh, uh, we have taken the class this is a drop down and these are the option values you can see here similarly we have a text box you can see uh, we have given one id the placeholder should be like uh, this one you can see and uh, same way you can see uh, this is a text area we took um, and then there is uh, a drop down again and then this is a password field where uh, input type password you can take uh, the next one you can see this is uh, a uh, again a drop down which is of country so you can see here no sorry this is not a drop down this is a checkbox so input type checkbox and then there is various country four countries we took here four checkboxes and then finally you can see another one which is a, a radio button input type radio you can see and yes no field is there for if the product is in stock or not uh, apart from that you can see uh, this available uh, date uh, this is a date type picker and then finally you can see this is uh, a drop down another uh, this is a multi select box sorry and you ha you can select multiple things from here so um, if i'll open in uh, visual studio code this is how actually i have used and here is the uh, you can see the javascript code uh, which we are using to get the value for example here um, uh, there is an alert box which will give label product dot value then you can see uh, we are getting that uh, this is the id of that uh, text box and then you can see here this is again the multi line text box so the same way you can see there is uh, values from the country which is checkbox and we it will return uh, the fields which user has been checked so if i will just run it before I explain uh, anything you can see i will just open it um you can see in folder i will simply uh open it with the chrome uh, you can see uh, you can see here this is what is in the field and if you will uh, you can see here this desktop i'll write something here um, and uh, this is the a description and then uh, you can see quantity if you want four password code you can see this is a password field and if i'll select two countries it will uh, display two countries in stock yes we can have a date uh, then you can see the brand so you can take any brand and you can also select multi values you can see here i have selected mobile and microphone if i'll click on add to cart button you can see here first watch in desktop hp uh, then this is description the amount is four this is passcode and then country you can see here india sri lanka we have selected two same way you can see here in stock yes and then there is date then there is a brand you can see here it is coming from this and the finally one you can see here mobile and microphone i have selected both the things that's the reason it is giving me both the values so this is how the code we can use this is the javascript code um, you can see uh, it will basically give you whatever the uh, things that you have selected and we are displaying in a alert box you have the option where you can you can select it 
the last thing that we will discuss about is uh, is the theme so there are certain themes are available if you'll see here these are the premium themes i have put the link here now this is the link and uh, these are the themes so if you'll see uh, if you have used like this if you, you have a requirement like this you can simply um, get it uh, the price is 59 dollar per uh, for theme you can see uh, and there are certain themes which are 49 dollar as well so there are various themes that you can try it out you can if you have let's say similar kind of web page that you want to create uh, then best way is it's not too costly you can see here 39 dollar also themes are there so if you want to have it so you can uh, you can uh, you can buy it you can even in you can click over there and you can uh, preview it like you can see this is how the theme will appear you can see here you don't need to really uh, do much things if you take this theme you can see and also uh, if you want to see how it will appear in mobile devices you can click over here and you can check this so this is this is really uh, the things and you can see here how the menu and everything will come uh, you can click on purchase and you can really purchase in there you can use it so you can save a lot of time rather than designing uh, something from the very scratch uh, if, uh, if you want similar kind of look look and feel i'll suggest you can buy it and then you can modify it according to your requirement you can put the links and you can see it is fully completely responsive uh, you can see the menu and everything how it is coming so this is how we can use bootstrap and if you are a beginner then you should follow this article i have already uh, put the uh, i'll put the link in the video description uh, of that complete article and where you can download the html file as well as you can download you can see the code and if you want similar kind of videos subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever i will make a video thank you and have a nice day